Oh, no way. The image of the first page of the notebook in the video was a YouTube play button. That's impressive. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just so impressed. So Google just dropped Google Gemini 1.5 for everyone to try out. You might remember a few months back, they did this really cool demo where they uploaded a video and they were able to ask questions about the video, very minute little things within the video that it was able to pick out. So I'm very excited about this. So in order to access Google AI Studio, you can't actually do it from Europe. You're gonna to have to do it from a United States node. So I'm using a VPN, which positions uh, my IP address from a US address. So I'm using Nord in this case, you can use Express or any other one that you like and just connect via the United States. And so then you should be able to access this and it's at aistudio.google.com. And here you can select the model that you want. They've got 1.0 and we want 1.5. So I recorded this video that basically had me talking and then I showed it a couple of different objects. Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, a notepad with uh, my name and a play button. So let's go to, let's go to video. Let's drag over Gemini test. It's 27 megabytes, it's a really quick upload. So I'm just gonna hit return. Now already it seems to be doing some kind of inference or processing on this video. Let's see what it comes back with. You can see the time it's taking to run. So yeah, I've seen this before. So the first time you put in a video and hit return, it's making a complete guess about the content that's in there. So um, we can ignore that for now. I, what objects did you see in the video? Okay, very good. So we saw a microphone, a salt lamp, Ghostbusters car, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure, and a notebook. That is pretty impressive. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see if it recognizes what was shown. Wow, cool. So what was the image on the first page. Oh, no way. The image of the first page of the notebook in the video was a YouTube play button. That's impressive. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm just so impressed. I've been very excited to see if this model actually holds up to the original demos. And from my early tests, it does. Um, this has huge implications for video processing and even at a later stage for augmented reality. Uh, to be able to constantly process what somebody is seeing and draw inference from that. So I see some huge applications there. Also, the other big thing to take into account is the huge context window. So at the moment, to fine tune models on certain data sets, we're using retrieval augmented generation. Could it mean that with a huge uh, 1 million token context window that we don't need to do that as much anymore? Super interesting. Can't wait to play some more. If you're interested in learning more and building things with AI, give me a follow.